right? What kind of a transmission line we want to have? Maybe um, the line that has equal impedance, then we would not have any reflection. But sometimes you want to have You generated some sound that is over one kilohertz. I think so. Okay, anyway. So if the difference between Z1 and Z2 is getting large and large, then what we will have? We will have a total reflection. So suppose we design the window that has a great impedance difference, then the noise will not transmit it to out. So we will have quite good, quieter environment outside. So what you essentially want to have to block the noise is to get a large impedance mismatch. Right? Then how how to get a small, I mean, large uh, reflection, then you can just uh, say, making large impedance mismatch. Very compact, and but precise expression. Right? If you just uh, say, hey, large impedance mismatch would produce no transmission, small transmission. That says everything. But before you do not know about the impedance, you have to say following. Uh, how to get a small transmission? Suppose we have a wave, and there is a boundary condition, and we have to solve it, something like that, right? Huh? And then you so you see the boundary condition is has to be like uh, velocity has to be continuous force has to be continuous uh, blah 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 right very long description but now because we invited a new concept new terminology that is impedance we just can say that impedance mismatch produce large reflection, therefore small transmission. Therefore, our job is to make large impedance mismatch. Isn't it beautiful? This is a really compact and beautiful concept, impedance. I like it very much. Okay, now, okay, question, okay. Very large amplitude, but if you calculate the power, that only shows the uh, amplitude. But thermodynamic law says energy has to be con conserved, right? For example, suppose you have electric circuit. Okay, you have a high voltage over here, right? Right? Okay, but the rate of energy transmitted to this junction has to be voltage multiplied by current. Okay, in acoustics or vibration, large amplitude corresponds to voltage. The velocity corresponds to the current. The amount of energy, rate of energy, amount of energy 
transmitted to medium 2 has to be that amplitude multiplied by velocity. Okay, that graph shows that large amplitude does not mean that large energy or power, right? And the velocity, if you calculated it, calculate it, and uh, that's going to be your homework problem, in fact. The velocity is very small, right? <laughs> No, no, no. I, this guy does not generate that homework. I already, I already noted over here. So he's not responsible to make such kind of uh, uh, homework. I don't accuse him. Yeah. It's a designed homework. <laughs> right. Okay. Now, let us, let us, let us go back to what we learned. Okay. We said, we assumed that and that is governed by right? We didn't solve the covering equation, right, in the beginning. Okay, we just imagine all the possible wave. And then we found that this covering equation satisfies this general solution. And then we study the special case and we found that impedance really well what's going to happen on two streams. Okay. And next, I will demonstrate that considering small element of a string, how the string moves, then this will introduce us the governing equation too. Okay, is this an entirely different approach? So I will show you how we can get those expressions. <coughs> <coughs> this is a small string measured by this two coordinate and this tension and one could say there is a some tension variation. And this is a small distance. And I would say this is dx. And this is dy. <coughs> and assuming that the gravity effect is a small compared with <laughs> the tension effect. And then Newton's second law <coughs> <coughs> sorry. Newton's second law says that any unbalanced force induces motion. And this is unbalanced force has to be equal to <coughs> sorry. Mass, that is rho L dS. Rho L is mass per unit length. dS is the length. And I would say <coughs> okay. <coughs> That's the uh, Newton's uh, second law I applied to the infinitesimal element of a string. Okay. 